Good morning, guys. Welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson nine. We're going to get started um, and we're going to start doing this the way that I, the second way I showed you yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and do dead man and turn the improper, or sorry, turn the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we call this dead man because when we write it out, It looks like a dead man when you turn it sideways. Cross out eyes, smile. So anytime I say dead man, that's why. Okay. So we start here and remember to go that way, which is why that arrow is there. Okay. So three times two is six plus two more is eight. We keep our denominator. Okay. Still going to be divide. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. Keep our denominator, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here and write down our 8 over 3 divided by our 4 over 3. Now, here's the fun part. When we are dividing fractions, we get to keep, change our sign, and then flip. And let's see last one this happens because when we get the same numbers, like 3 and 3, we get to just make them ones. Then 4 goes into 4 ones and 4 goes into 8 twice. That means 2 over 1, which is just 2. Okay? All right. So now we're going to get started on the next one. Okay? So 2 over 1, because we need a fraction, okay? 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 more is 29. So I'm going to rewrite this. Okay, ready? Now, it wants us to keep... Change and flip. And unfortunately, we can't reduce anything. 29 is not an even number. 8 doesn't go into 29. So 2 can't go into 29 because it's not even, which means that I'm just going to get 16 over 29. Okay? Can't reduce anything. So my final answer here, 16 over 29. Okay? All right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to show you how to do it again. Okay. 15 times 1 is 15. Plus 13 more is going to be 28. Keep our denominator. Okay. 1 times 5 is 5. Plus 2 more is 7. Keep our denominator at 15. Okay. Now, we're going to keep, change, and what is super cool because 5 and 15, 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 15 three times. Okay? 7 goes into 28 four times. So 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 28 four times. Okay? So now when I multiply straight across, I get 4 over 3. Well, that's an improper fraction because the top is bigger than the bottom. So if I were to divide 3 into 4, then I would get one. I would have one left over and my denominator stays the same, okay? You guys do five, six, and seven. You totally can. I believe in you, okay? We are going to do number eight. Okay, that is sit and jill, hike four and one eighth of a mile in the morning. And one and seven eighths of a mile in the afternoon. How many times as far did they hike in the morning as in the afternoon? So we have to divide the original four and one eighth by one and seven eighths. Okay, so we have to do dead man. Okay, four times eight is 32, plus one more, 33. Keep our denominator, okay? 
divided by 8 times 1 is 8 plus 7 more is 15. We keep our denominator. Okay, so now we get to keep, change our sign, and flip. Okay, so now 8 and 8 become 1 and 1. Okay, same number means you get to cross them out. Okay, and it doesn't look like 15 is going to go into 33, but there is a number that goes into 15 and 33. They're both divisible by 3, which means 3 times 5 is 15, so that becomes a 5, and 3 times 11 is 33, so that's going to become 11. Okay, so when I multiply straight across, I get 11 over 5. Okay, now, top is bigger than the bottom, and we can't have that, so 5 would go into 11 two times, which would be 10. That 11 minus 10 is 1, and I keep my denominator. Now, I'm going to go over how I got this really fast from the 11 over 5, okay? If I were to put the 11 inside and the 5 outside, okay? Don't need all that extra space, okay? 5 goes into 11 two times. 2 times 5 is 10. I subtract, I get 1, okay? So, this is my whole number, okay? This is my numerator and my denominator stays the same okay write that down if you need to you do whatever it is you need to do to make that happen okay okay so now oh i'm sorry i need to write down that answer don't i so two and one fifth oh I can just write miles. Okay. Okay. Kim has two and a half cups of peaches. How many quarter cup servings can she make? Okay. So she has two and a half. And we need to divide that up into quarter servings. Okay. So we're going to do dead man for the first one. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. We keep our denominator of 2. Okay, divided by 1 quarter. Now, that equals 5 over 2, and we switch, keep, change, and we're going to flip. Okay, now, I can't divide anything by 1. That doesn't help me, okay? But 2 and 4, so 2 goes into 2 once and 2 goes into 4 twice, which when I multiply straight across now, I get 10 over 1, just 10. 10 over 1 is equal to 10. So 10 servings. Okay, make sure you write down the work to that. Okay, pause it, do whatever you need to do to write down the work to that. Okay, all right. You guys are going to do 10 and 11 on your own. You totally can. I believe in you. You're also going to go ahead and take care of the lesson check, okay? So, we are going to get started on the spiral review, okay? This says the three sides of the triangle measure 9.97 meters, 10.1 meters, and 0 0.53 meter. What is the distance around the triangle? So, all we have to do to get the distance around is add them up. So, I'm going to put the biggest one up top. 10.1. I'm going to put the next one, 9.97. And because I don't like not having a number there, I'm going to fill in a zero because it's after the decimal. Okay. Then the last one, 0 0.53. Okay. And we need to make sure that whatever we're doing, it's being measured in meters. All right, meters. Okay. Okay. So, 0 plus 7 is 7, plus 3 more is 10, carrier 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 9 is 11, plus 5 is 16, carrier 1. 1 plus 9 is 10, carrier 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Don't forget to come and drop your decimal down. Okay? So, you should have 
20.60 meters. You don't have to put that extra zero. You could just put 20.6 meters. Same thing. Okay. All right. Selena bought 5.62 pounds of meat for $3.49 per pound. What was the total cost of the meat? So all we have to do is 3.49 times 5.62. Now, I put that one up top because it's easier for me to multiply by 2 and 5 than it is 9, 4, and 3. Okay, 6 is a little awkward, but that's only one number. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so 2 times 9, 18, carry our 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. 2 times 3, 6. Okay, ready? Tick, tack, toe. Okay, we don't need that anymore. I don't want to reuse my two on accident, so I'm tacking that and then I'm remembering to put a placeholder zero. Okay, now six times nine is 54, carry the five. Six times four is 24, plus five, 29, carry our two. Okay, six times three is 18, plus two more is 20. Okay, so now I get two, tick, tack, I don't want to use that six anymore. Double O. Okay? Now, the easy part, multiplying by five. Five times nine, 45. Carry our four. Five times four is 20, plus four is 24. Carry our two. And five times three is 15, plus two more is 17. Add them up. Okay? So, straight down is eight. Nine plus four is 13. Carry our one. One plus six is seven plus nine is 16, plus five, 21, carry our two, two plus four is six, two plus seven is nine, and bring down our one. Now, we need to, it's asking how much money she spent, so it wants us to do money, okay? Now up here, we went in one, two, three, four places. We need to go in one, two, three, four places, okay? So, when we're dealing with American money, we only have two places after the decimal. That means that these two are irrelevant unless this number tells that to go up. If this was a five or bigger, it would tell me that this number one needs to be a two. However, it's smaller than five, so I can keep it a one. So she will have spent $19.61. Okay. Okay. Pause that, write down the work, do whatever you need to do, guys. Okay. All right. All right. Melanie prepared seven and a half tablespoons of spice mixture. She uses a quarter tablespoon to make a batch of barbecue sauce. Estimate the number of batches of barbecue sauce she can use making the spice mixture. So we're going to go back to seven and a half. We're going to divide that by one quarter tablespoon and see what we get, okay? So, two times seven, 14 plus one is 15, okay? And we keep our denominator of two, okay? Divided by one quarter, okay? So now, we get to keep, change and flip, okay? And now, Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. So when I multiply 15 times two, I get 30. Okay, it would be 30 over one, which is the same as 30. So it would be 30 servings. Okay, or batches. Let's do batches. Okay. Okay. All right. You guys get to do number six by yourself. You totally can. I believe in you. Okay. Good job, guys. Uh, come on back for 2.10. And I'll see you then.